Hi, you ever wondering what to do with all those bottle caps? I'm not here to talk about your drinking problem, but I have a solution for the bottle cap problem. Let's make some faces, some Wonderland talking flowers today. All right, so the first thing you need to do is take your bottle cap, then you're gonna take a pair of needle nose pliers or any pliers you have. You can raid your husband's box if you need to, if you don't have anything like that. And what you're gonna do is just take the edges, you're gonna take them out and you're gonna flower them out. So they don't have to be even, you're just trying to make a flower like this. Next, you are going to take a brush and you're going to do uh, paint the outside of it. We're just gonna use acrylic paint. We're gonna use the cheap acrylic paints, best kind for this project. Uh, and you can mix colors. I'm using blue, pink, and um, purple today. So we're gonna take it, you're gonna paint the outside of it. This doesn't have to be crazy detailed because this is gonna be the part that's gonna be the back to the refrigerator or whatever else you're putting your magnet on. All right. Next thing you're gonna do is, first thing, you need to take your brush, clean it off. All right, you're gonna take the next one and you are going to use some gesso, all right? If you don't have gesso, white acrylic paint's fine, but I like gesso, it sticks a little bit better. So I'm gonna take the gesso, and we are gonna take the inside of that. Well, yes, clean your paintbrush first. Then we're gonna put gesso on the inside, um, and you're gonna wanna cover this a little bit better than maybe you did the outside. You're gonna really wanna get in there and there you go. And you're gonna wanna let it dry for a little bit, but you don't have to let it dry completely before you go on to the next. Next, you're gonna pick a color. Yes, clean the paintbrush in between. I'm bad about not doing that. And then you're going to uh, put whatever color, you know, you might wanna do a lighter version than what you did on the outside. We're gonna do sort of a pink-purple combo here with a little peach in there. And I like using the different colors because they swirl and give it a little bit more uh, color. After you do that one, you wanna let it dry completely. We're rushing on. We're gonna do the second coat on top of that. So you're just gonna do two coats of paint on there. All right, next up, what you're gonna do is you are going to take that bottle cap after it's dried completely and you're gonna take a pencil and you're gonna do the face and it's really simple lines. We're doing laugh lines, two dots for the nose and a little smiley face and it's gonna scratch off the paint. That's what you want it to do. So next you're gonna do, you're gonna take Sharpies of your color, not expensive paint pens, please, people. And then you are going to fill in where the bottle cap showed, you're gonna fill in the color of your little smiley face, however you decided to do it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some um, Mod Podge. I use the Luster, the shiny one, um, because I like it to be shiny. You're gonna just take that, you're gonna take your brush, uh, which again, we're gonna have to clean up in between. I use the same brush for the whole thing. I kinda like with this Mod Podge to have a little bit of the color you put in there before, um, but if you're anal, go ahead. We're gonna put Mod Podge, and we're gonna put it on pretty thick in there over it. It's gonna almost look like your face is completely obscured. Then what you're gonna do is you are gonna take glitter. I love glitter, everything's better with glitter. I have this multi-pack with lots of colors, um, and we're gonna choose what color we wanna do. And you're going to sprinkle that on. Oops. Looks like I've used all of that color. Oh, that's okay. We'll use a different color. Um, so just pick a different color and we're gonna pour that on to the Mod Podge. You want it to stick. I poured a lot in there. Any excess you can tap off or tap onto. You'll be, I would suggest doing more than one of these at a time. So either tap it back into the container or tap it on. It's gonna be nice and thick. Now you're gonna take that Sharpie again and the color, this is important to be in the right color, and you are gonna draw your face on top of this while the glitter is still there and it's still wet. It's gonna, the color's gonna stick, and if it sticks to your, um, to your Sharpie, all you do is then take the Sharpie on a piece of uh, paper and you're just gonna uh, take it and doodle it until all of that is gone. But what we're gonna do is have your final face on the outside of your glitter. There you go. And uh, the next, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take magnets. Uh, I get these great magnets from um, online at Etsy. When you go to my site, you'll see all of the supplies listed for this project. And you're gonna take some glue. I usually use uh, jewelry glue. I was just out before doing this uh, tutorial. The Max Tacky works just fine. You're gonna take that, put that on the back of them. These little magnets are super strong. I'll give you the link for them. And then we're gonna wander over with them. You're not gonna wanna rush this. You actually want the magnets to dry 24 hours, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are gonna put them right on the refrigerator. Um, you're just gonna see some of my other stuff in the refrigerator, but uh, here's a final picture of them. That's what they end up looking like, and it's a fun little thing you can also do with your kids. 
This has been a Wonderland production. If you'd like to be a member of Wonderland for more goodness, just go to www.megboon.com.